Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And we're back in Ecrotique City. And I did swap out the Pharaoh for Beedrill since Fly doesn't work correctly in this game. I don't know that we'll necessarily need Cut, but uh, yeah. I guess you could say our Fly is down. Totally not the to use that phrase. Hey, an Ultra Ball. Alright, we could go in here. Mount Mortar. This is a fairly lengthy cave that I don't even know that we can get completely around right now. You can see the Pokemon in here aren't really good for grinding on. They aren't really good for much of anything. It's, it's a lot of the same types of Pokemon we've seen before. Yeah, there's a Rattata. So, I'm just... I'm not gonna bother here. I never did get that magic herb. Oh well. Yeah, hey, there's a spot to cut. Hey, we have a new encounter! Yeah, this is a new encounter. We caught a Tentacool. We will fight this thing, though, because Tentacruel being an evolved Pokémon in the wild does give a decent amount of experience. Please don't poison. Ah, oh, you had to do it. You had to do it, didn't you? I'm just going to use an antidote. We still have a handful of them. enjoy this music for the moment. Alright, we can cut this down to size. And we get some more apricorns here. Or apricories. Yeah, without Fly being usable in this game, this is going to be really, really annoying. What is that? That's new. Is this the, the Berry Tower? I don't think I want to do this. Oh, hey, there's a shop here. Yeah, I don't think I want to do this. Because I don't know if it's going to, like, level your Pokemon, or your opponent's Pokemon to what you are, or you need to be level 50, or who knows what. And to just get berries. I'm not interested in berries. I'm interested in punching stuff in the face. Let me demonstrate how I punch your Pokémon in the face. That's how we solve our problems on this channel. Fisher Tully, he sent out Quillfish. What's a Pufferfish? It is a dead puffer Pufferfish. Oh, are you serious? We have a Psychic coming up. Hey, you know what, just to be safe, we have Antidotes. Hey, this is my secret place. Get lost, you outsider. Your secret place, what about the other people that are literally standing within distance of you. Oh, it's a Pokemaniac Shane. Okay. So yeah, here we go again. Issues with getting experience from trainers. Because a lot of the Pokemon we're going to be fighting are going to be in like the 20s and that. But yet gym leaders are in the 30s and it's, it's just really awkward to try and get experience in Johto region games.
I will say though that I do like the types of all of the gym leaders in this region. One of the reasons I like is because you're facing gym leaders for every type that uh, there's no repetition between Johto and Kanto gym leader types. I mean, you don't have every type because you don't have dark type. Fairy type didn't exist yet. Oh, hello! A smoochum! I would certainly not mind using that. Well, I don't know if I'm going to train it up, though. A uh, Smoochum is the baby Pokemon for Jinx in Ice and Psychic type. Definitely one I've never used in a Nuzlocke before, which is why I'm excited about it. And it should, unlike, unlike other baby Pokemon, it should evolve at level... Try to, please don't kill this thing. It'll resist this. Perfect. You can even do that again. It, it, it should even evolve at, like, level 30, I believe. But it's staying asleep for a while. That's good. Haha! -ha, success! That's a neat capture there. Alright, hikers. They like to use either fighting types or rock types. Or a mixture of both. Ah, oh, it's good to be outside. I feel so free. Well, let me freely punch you in the face. Or you can use ground types. Can't really punch that in the face. I can Shadow Ball it, though. And that Diglett is digging no more. And I guess I'll just go with my own Graveler here. I like this. We're still fighting all these pretty low-level, unevolved Pokémon at this point. Granted, though, we could have come this way a little bit sooner, which is why I think the designers did it this way with these trainer levels here, but it's, it's just not a good way to be gaining experience. Doug Trio. We're gonna try about it free here. If this thing has a rock move, I'm gonna be really sad. Although it might not matter, since it's only level 18. I pressed the button to the left. I pressed the left. I pressed the left. And I was just so expecting that to work that I just clicked the attack button after pressing the left that didn't register. I don't think I pressed it hard enough. Did that old man just spontaneously appear? The Gyarados Rampage. Uh, not even hiding. Oh, I can get a Gyarados there. Hiya, kid. You should try some yummy lava cookie right now. It can be yours for just 300. Want one? Sure. So you can buy a lava cookie. If they're supposed to be, like, candy bars that you buy. So, this guy just blocks your path. Won't let you leave Mahogany Town. Won't let you go to the right. Which is kind of dumb. Like, could you imagine that? Being at the entrance of a city, and someone's like, No, you can't actually leave here. I'm going to sell you some candy bars. I'm going to sell you some cookies. Even if you buy my cookies, you're still not allowed to leave the city. you got to stay in the city. Like, how can you get away with that? Oh, Pokemon music. 
we don't get that. Um, try a rage candy bar. Yeah, that's what it is, a rage candy bar. And this guy is not letting us through to the gym leader, so we can't do that yet. Speaking of which, why isn't the gym leader, you know, doing something about that? Like, doesn't he mind that no one is being allowed to... Oops. No one is being allowed to take on his gym? Does he even care? Of course he doesn't care, he's using ice types. Okay, let's you know, let's check this out. I don't think we can do anything here yet. Oh my gosh. And then this person will sell Oh a slowpoke tail. That's a small green card. Pokeballs of potions. That's weird. Huh, something yeah. Okay, this is a weird room. Let's just let's just go. So the game is going to send us to the north, which takes us to the Lake of Rage. And Route 43. And we have more trainer battles. What is this guy what's he gonna do to me? Let's start with our trusty butterfree. I can do so much with my Pokemon, it's super fun! He's a camper. Of course he is, he's outside in the rain. Camper Spencer. Again, technically we're outside in the rain too. Level 19! I'm not even bother putting this to sleep. Just, just get it out of here. Zubat, we'll keep Butterfree in for this. Because Psybeam is good here. I don't think Butterfree learns Psychic by level up in the... Oh gosh, we have to switch now. Um, Graveler on Graveler action. It's like Super Gravel. I don't think Butterfree gets Psychic by level up in this generation. And we're not going to get the TM for it for quite a while. Oh wow, Magnitude 6 was still enough to kill. Well, we are, you know, 14 levels ahead. Alright, so there's a couple different routes you could take. If you take that route to the right, there's like some Team Rocket guys that are going to charge you like a thousand Poke Dollars to pass through. It's kind of obnoxious. You know, I just wanted to... No, we didn't kill that. Maybe it'll just kill itself. That will work. Hmm. That doesn't work. Very well. I can also gust. We've got lots of gusto. Alright, I was gonna try and find a Pokemon, but seriously, what am I even gonna get here? Most of the Pokemon that we're gonna find in these areas are gonna be the same Pokemon that we've seen in, like, the past five routes. So if we don't catch a new Pokemon here, I'm not super worried about it. Although maybe I should try fishing. See if I can get that level 20 magic herb that I've always been dreaming of. Nope, we're just we're just gonna keep dreaming here. Aha! What do we have? First Pokemon, Magic Herb! Level 20! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Put it to sleep. Why is that thing faster than Butterfree? 
Magikarp does give speed EVs. But still, why is that faster than Butterfree? Okay, can I catch this with just a basic... Can I, can I do it like this? Actually, since this is a hack, we probably could find something spicy on in the grass on this route. Eventually. Well, whatever. We got a Magikarp. That was our first encounter. I'll give it a rare candy later, and then we'll have a great HM slave. Well, we already have Strength and Surf on two of our guys. Are you going to Lake of Rage 2? Let's play for a little while. Sure, why not? It's Tiffany! Clefairy! Okay, so you're the one that robbed Whitney of her Clefairy. This thing can be scary if it starts trying to use Metronome. I don't know what this thing's gonna do. I'm afraid to bring in anything that has a quadruple weakness. So let's just go with Hypno. Granted, it's probably just gonna stay asleep and I'm just being overly cautious, but when you've played Nuzlocke enough, you learn to be overly cautious. Because the time you're not, the time you're getting sloppy, the time you're getting careless, that's when you start losing Pokemon. Like, if I could have switched to Graveler, and then that Clefairy wakes up, uses Metronome, and hits some water move, like Water Pulse, Surf, Hydro Pump, and just slaughters my thing. Oh, Sentry. I don't need a Sentry. I can't catch a Sentry here anyways, because I already caught something. It'd be great if I could take more than, you know... I didn't even take a full step. All I did was turn the way I looked. Huh. This is going to be one of those episodes. Hopefully by the end of the episode we can get to the end of this route. This is actually not that long of a route. Uh, we're going to switch Pokemon up here. Yeah, we'll start with Mega Arm. Hi there. Do you have any rare Pokemon? Yeah, I got a few of those, actually. Brent, and he has a Lickitung. Why? I love that thing. Giant Tongue. And in Gen 4, it gets an evolution to Licky Licky. Yeah, I'm not making this up. That's what it's actually called. Oh, my poor Pokemon darlings! You're weird. Oh, hey, there's a Furret. That is the evolved form of Sentret. Furret, interestingly enough, can learn Surf, I believe. So it can act as a Surf HM slave for you. I want this item. It's a Max Ether. Okay, that's... That could become useful for the Elite Four. Look at all this stuff we have here. Uh, we're going to lead off with Hypno. So I feel that's a better lead for these super nerd types. Some raptor guy made fun of my Pokemon. Darn it, my Pokemon's great! Well, don't worry about Raptor. He makes fun of everyone's Pokemon. Nidoking! There we go, but see, it's level 21. It's level 21, which means it has absolutely no chance of surviving the Psychic. I mean, I guess it could have if it had a focus band. Yeah, sure. Alright, now we gotta... 
We gotta get into like ten more battles here. I mean, I'm gonna take these battles. Just it'll give me some experience. We might not actually finish this route by the end of this episode. Surf over here so we don't get another five battles. I'm in a slump. Maybe it's the gear I'm using. Let's battle for a change of pace. Those three sentences just don't really go together much. Oh, it's Marvin. He has magic arps. Why does he have magic arps? Why are they level 12? Who knows? They're dead magic arps. Wow, 51. Oh, Gyarados, cool. Gyarados will give attack EVs. A level 12 Gyarados, that's not possible. I call hacks. Definitely calling hacks on this. Wow, that was a, still a lot of experience for a level 12 Gyarados. Oh, and now it's level 17. Ooh. How are you outspeeding Hypno? Granted, Hypno is not the fastest thing, but Magikarps shouldn't be that fast. And let me guess, a level 17 Gyarados. So you know what? It's not going to have a water attack. It's a Gyarados. Gyarados doesn't learn, like, any water moves by level up. Except maybe a Hydro Pump, but a level 17 Gyarados is not going to have a Hydro Pump. I want attack EVs on my grandpa. That, that's what I want. That's what I'm getting at here. And we outspeed this Gyarados. <laughs> we outspeed Gyarados. Uh... There's a nice level up. You lost, but you feel better anyway. The weirdo. And we get up here to the Lake of Rage. We're on. We're on like a far side of it. Uh, so what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna cut these trees down. We're gonna pick up some of these items. We have to enter from over in the main area to get. There's nothing over here. I could headbutt these trees. Wait, I don't know headbutt. I got rid of that. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Look at all of this. An elixir. That's become useful for the Elite Four. Alright, and what are we going to find in this hut? Honestly, I'm not sure. So we'll find out together next time.